All right, today is day two of the Cubic Mini install. Yesterday we got it mounted on the wall. Today we are going to cut a hole in the roof and mount the tubes and flanges and whatever else, the cap, all those things. Um, so the first thing I need to do is find the center point for my hole on the ceiling and then it says to cut a seven inch hole. I think I'm gonna do six and a half inches because if I mess it up then I can always go bigger. If you go too big, then you're screwed. So uh, I'm gonna use a level and try to find my center point, measure off this to find, you know, I'm just gonna do some math, some calculating. And then I got my, my jig and we're gonna cut a hole in the roof. So wish me luck. where the center of the hole is but I have to calculate for this action too so I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna trust my instincts and then drill a hole. Famous last words. I've also got a light here, and so I know the power goes up somewhere, so I'm going to hopefully not hit the wire. If I do, I'll just patch it, but, yep, drilling the hole. This is my, this is what I'm most nervous about, and I need to drill it. Doing it. I'm up to the roof. We have a hole in this ceiling. <laughs> I don't believe that one. All right. We have light through the through the hole. Can you see that? <laughs> Scary. Yeah. There's light up there. <laughs> so when drilling up through the ceiling, you want to try to make sure your your bit is straight up and down. Because if you go up like this, you'll come out two inches off to the side on your ceiling roof. Stick this back up there and I got a string. And I'm gonna tie a pencil to the string and we're gonna make a circle. Cause that's, I don't know, a caveman construction. That's what I like to do. I want three and a quarter off of the actual stick. First line was way up. All right, well, this is a disaster. <laughs> like a thousand lines. Uh, so I'm gonna put a little Sharpie dot where it's actually at three and a quarter. So then I can actually know. So drawing it out, is harder than I thought, but I just ended up freehanding it with Sharpie and measuring along. Hopefully that's good. I'm gonna drill some holes up through so I can see them on the roof too. And I'll just Sharpie those and then it's time to jigsaw, I think. How's it going? Got your work clothes on? All right. Sweet. This used to be my working shirt when I was little. Nice, you're looking good. What did you open? I opened it because I'm hot. Yeah, it's hot in here. All right, buddy, I'm gonna jigsaw. What's a jigsaw? Jigging it, jiggy. This is a jig. I am using the shortest wood jig bit, whatever they call them, that I have so I don't bounce along the ceiling as I go. This one, I'm just trying to cut the wood. Here we go, hole in the ceiling.
No wires. That is very exciting. Okay, we're on the roof. I've got my four, whoop, five. It's wet, it's slippery up here. My five pilot holes drilled. And I've got. I will use a metal blade, Leo, thank you. I've got new blades for thick metal. Kind of sharpie out. All right, drew my line. One hole was a little bit off because I came out it crooked, but uh, should be good to go. So good, I got it. Ready? There's a hole in our roof. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Good, I'm coming down. Uh, have to put these things up. I didn't put them up yesterday because I wanted room to bang around with my jigsaw, which turned out to be a great idea. And my hole looks, it looks like it's gonna be close, but I think it'll be all right. Not quite center. I can wiggle it that way. Yeah, perfect. These little guys, these go on the side here to get it to the right height. Whatever height you like. I'm gonna use, go this high. Make sure you still got your hole down here. Cause that's what you're screwing into. I actually got it. Oh, what? I think. Let me see. Whoa, hold this. Jaff. Okay. Okay. So then you gotta get this guy, this guy, and they go like, they go like what? <sighs> see, like this. Buns. Son of a gun. <laughs> Where'd it go? Wow. Oh, here it is. Here's it. Tubey thing. Tubey, here's the tubey thing. Got it. So then back in here. Okay. It was hitting the okay. ceiling. <laughs> ah. Ah. Got it. Rain and sawdust. Ah, hot diggity dog. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna attach these bad boys together. I'm gonna go take this to the ceiling, slide it down. Actually, do it. I should do it up there in case I dent it. There we go. Look how shiny that is for like four seconds. It's a tube. All right, going up to the roof again with my tubies. Thing. All right, cleaning the edge because the caulk said it wants a dry, clean edge. Can you help me fit this on? Uh, can you stop twisting it? Not, the little one's not on. I can't, I don't know. Yep, I had it backwards. Okay, can you measure something for me? How far down the roof does it go? That's how far it's supposed to go. And then it's 19 inches out the top. I mean, it's supposed to be a foot above the highest point, and our highest point is six, so 18 is what it should be. I don't know if we're gonna like hit stuff while we're driving, you know? Should I do a Google search? 
the height of the bus is 10 feet, so this adds two feet, that makes 12, and Google says that Washington bridges are all 16.6, so we'll have four feet to spare. And if we ever come across a 12 foot bridge, we'll just cut the pipe off. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so the next thing to do is to cut this boot to length. This is a five inch pipe, and then it has little markings for the diameters, three quarters, four and three quarters to five and a quarter. And it has an arrow pointing up, so I'm guessing that's the groove above. And it says to cut with tin snips. Do not use a utility knife, all bold caps. So, tin snips it is. Tim, Tim snips, not sharp. So, gardening clippers. Joy said I could use them. Well, actually she said, are you using my gardening clippers? And I said, yeah. So, here we go. Yeah, it was just gnawing on it. Next thing we're gonna do is screw these little brackets on to make sure this baby doesn't wallable. Make sure your tops are level. This one's been sliding down. Hello? To make sure like side to side and front to back is level. I don't know, just like so it looks good, I don't know. What? Is front to back good? Okay, got the uh, mounting brackets on. I was two screws short, I don't know, probably lost them somewhere, but I have extra self-tapping screws, you know, because I'm doing a school bus conversion. So now we just slide this boot on, put the top on, and we should be done. And there's some trim inside too. Okay, so got the sleeve on. It says to mark out the edge and then fold this back and then caulk it and then screw it. High temperature sealant. I think I'll use this whole bottle. If there's one thing I've learned about schoolie conversion is that caulk is your friend and more is always better. So wants a little piece right there. All right, I've got these one inch self-tapping screws with a neoprene washer for roofs and for metal. The other box I got was for wood, so this will be much better. And I want all the caulk to squeeze out um, when I push it down, so if it doesn't, I'm gonna add more. Okay, so I just broke a screw off in here somehow. So I'm gonna start pre-drilling, but I'm sort of working against the clock now because this caulk's gonna start drying. So gotta hurry. So I'm done with the outside. Um, the hardest part was getting those self-tapping screws around the boot down there. Um, I was breaking off screws only along one side. So I had to get the big gun out, the uh, big drill, and pre-drill it. And I'm not a huge fan of pre-drilling, but we made it work. So um, the last thing to do now is to trim out the inside. We're gonna slide this bad boy up. Uh, screw that one up. So the last 
thing to do is this little top piece of trim, um, but I'm having trouble because this blue guard goes right up to the top and you need to save like a quarter inch, not a quarter inch, like a sixteenth of an inch to get this to slide up behind it. Um, so I unscrewed the side thing and I'm going to see if I can jam it up in there. it so I'll get it all cleaned up show you guys what a fire looks like inside of it how it works um, and then maybe we'll make a review later on after the winter's all done um, but I got to get to the pumpkin patch so I'm gonna finish this up quick and then we'll clean up later it's a it's a mess in here um, one last other note was this thing the uh, shoe transition piece there's three holes on it that line up with this five inch uh, pipe and I couldn't get my last screw in over here because it's back there. So uh, Just keep that in mind while you're doing this um, Oh, I need to screw this thing back in All right. Well, we got it all cleaned up. We got our wood down under in our wood box um, Put our trim up over here and Then we put our shelf back up and I did some googling you might say isn't that a little close and um, they say you can be six inches from a flue pipe if it's double insulated and it's like five and a half so I figure that's well <laughs> if it catches on fire I'll let you guys know <laughs> but I think it'll be good um, so yeah if you have any questions about the uh, the install the build um, just leave leave a question a little comment below and um, yeah, give me a thumbs up and a high five or a subscribe or whatever. Um, if you like this video, if this is helpful, I'm glad it's helpful. I have links to all the stuff we used, all the products we bought will be in the description of the video, um, except for the plywood. You can get your own plywood um, at Home Depot. And I don't think there's any other notes or tips or tricks that I have um, that I've learned. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, happy. Happy building, happy constructing, happy tiny living. Thanks Cubic Mini for the not free stove. <laughs>